Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. For the reverse and the converts who have come back to the religion of Islam, I just want to remind you guys of the importance of taking some time out of your busy schedules to learn as much as you can concerning the seerah, the history of Prophet Muhammad's sallallahu alayhi wa sallam life. His biography is extremely important and religiously is something that each and every Muslim has to make it part of his goal and his objective to become better Muslims. I give you just a few reasons why we have to learn about his seerah. Number one, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has been described in the Quran by Allah as being a qudwa. And the qudwa is an example. He said in the Quran, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا You have in the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam a perfect example. He's an uswa, a perfect example, a qudwa. Those are synonyms. So if you don't learn about a seerah, then you won't know how to follow his example. If you learn about the seerah, you'll learn about how did he give dawah to Allah. How did he deal with people when he was in a hostile environment? How did he deal with people who are older than him? People of position and prestige. How did he deal with people who were younger than him? How did he deal with the, the oppressed and the downtrodden? How did he encourage and motivate people? How did he deal with his relationship with Allah, the Most High and the Most Glorious? So in order to imitate him and to emulate him, we have to learn about who he is because you won't be able to do so if you don't learn. Another benefit of learning about the series is that it is wajib. It's something that is obligatory. Not only is it obligatory, but it's one of the most obligatory acts of worship in the religion. How do we know that? There's a hadith that when people die, two angels will come to every single human being. Those two angels, their names are Munkar and Nakir. Munkar and Nakir. They will sit the person up in a way that Allah knows the reality because it's going to be in the barzakh, in the grave. And they're going to proceed to ask him three questions. Who is your Lord? What is your religion? And what did you have to say about that man who came to you? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Prophet Muhammad said that the believer who knew his religion and he had faith, he had conviction, he's going to answer, my Lord is Allah. My religion is Al-Islam. And as it relates to the man who was sent, he's Abdullah and Rasulullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When he answers the correct way, the two angels are going to say to him, you have answered correctly because Allah gave you the success and the ability to do so. And then they will put this question to the non-Muslim or to the hypocrite. And the hypocrite or the munafiq is the Muslim who is pretending and acting to be a Muslim on the outside, whereas in reality, he is a disbeliever inside of his consciousness. And Allah said about these people, They will be in the lowest portion of the hellfire. When it is said to them, Who is your Lord? He's going to say, Oh, oh, I don't know. What is your religion? Oh, oh, I don't know. What do you have to say about that man who was sent to you? He's going to say, I heard the people saying something and I said the same thing. I heard them call him Muhammad. I heard them call him Rasulullah. I heard them call him this and that. But I don't know. I don't really know. The two angels will say to that person, Ma talaita fa ma darait. You didn't read and therefore you didn't learn. You didn't educate yourself about these answers and therefore you didn't learn. You didn't come to understand what is Islam. You were practicing his lamb, his way of Islam, some other person's way of Islam, not Islam. The meaning of Islam is different in its reality from what he conceived it to be. He didn't know who the Prophet was, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who his Lord was. So the angels will say, you didn't read and therefore you did not learn. And then they were commenced to punish him. So that's one of the reasons why we learn the Sirah. They will learn about his biography. Lastly, and there are many reasons, is we want our Iman to increase because of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and what we know about him. The, tell, the, the trials and tribulations that he went through are far greater than what we go through. They far exceed what we go through. So when we compare our difficulties with what he had to go through, it becomes a bit more easier like right now in the month of Ramadan. It's really hot sometimes and the days are long.
Some of the munafiqun, the hypocrites, they were telling the Muslims, don't go out to fight the jihad because it's too hot and the trip is too long and it's too far. It's just too hot to go out there. Allah told the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, qalu la tanfiru fil har. They say, don't go out and fight and travel in the heat. Qul, haru jahannam ashaddu lo kanu yafqahun. Tell them that the heat of the hellfire is more severe if they only understood and they only knew. So if a person knew all of the efforts that the Prophet went through along with his companions, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he would begin to have an appreciation for how easy things are for us, uh, relatively speaking. Allah mentioned about the non-Muslims of Quraysh and even some of the people with us. He said, Am lam ya'rafu rasuluhum. Do they not come to know about who their messenger really is? Or will they deny and reject who he is? They will leave themselves ignorant and they will deny who he is. So we have to come to learn to the best of our ability about his biography, about his sirah, so we can be better Muslims and our iman can grow. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, none of you truly believes until he loves me more than he loves his mother, his people, his parents, his children, and all of the people. So in loving the Prophet, your Iman grows. And how can you love someone that you don't know and you don't come to know? So do your best, inshallah, to read about the Prophet Sallallahu One of the best books that I can guide you to is the book called The Sealed Nectar. The Sealed Nectar. Get that book and it'll give you an overall glimpse of what happened during the course of his life when he was born in Mecca to the time that he died in Medina, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and may Allah have mercy upon us and upon you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.